what is our role as humans within reality in terms of structuring it and kind of the metaphysical significance of human life? Uh, I would say co-creation with God. So the human being being a microcosm of God is involved in the process of creation as described in Genesis. We're partaking in that all the time. And we are called upon to do it properly and to participate in creation the way that, that Christ did. It's almost as if the human body already contains the blueprint for the perfect society. And the human body, when you look at it, there really is no distinction between the collective and the individual. So you look at a cell and the cell, what it wants to do just naturally fulfills the telos of the body, uh, unless you have cancer, which is the only real exception. And, you know, something like cancer is what destroys civilizations. It's when the, the body loses its coherence, bringing us back to Aquarius and the idea of coherent waves being on the same wavelength. It's like, I think if enough people were actually trying to individuate or achieve theosis, union with God, that would start to kind of constructively interfere in a way that would create a new culture that actually could sustain people's drive for meaning and could fulfill people's need for it. Um, one of the things that I notice is that the people who really seem to understand what I'm saying, they'll often have synchronistic experiences that mirror mine. There are a lot of people in my comments who say that the same things started happening to them around the same time. And what it starts to look like is there's some larger thing that is uniting these smaller processes. And if we were all to just participate in the life of this larger thing, it would interact in a way that would be mutually beneficial for everybody. And so, you know, that's, that's the kind of, uh, the way I think that the perfect civilization or the new Jerusalem lays itself out in reality. You can perfectly unify spirit and matter. You can perfectly unify the platonic form of, you know, the way the world should be and the world as it actually is. You can bring that down. Uh, and that would be the consummation, the perfect union of heaven and earth. I think what's going on when you pay attention, there are these moments where everything aligns. Um, and these, this tends to manifest as synchronicity or lucky chance, uh, but things that seem providential. And what I think that is, is it's like a flash of that perfect union of heaven and earth. And it lasts for half a second and then it's gone. But I think, so the consummation, which is a kind of eschatological vision of the new Jerusalem, is the idea that that flash could be extended forever. It could be an infinite process that's always happening. It's like a very extreme kind of Gnosticism that animates the modern world, mm -hmm. where even, you know, the crass idea of escapism, you're still trying to escape the material world in some way by playing video games or watching TV or, um, you know, even getting drunk, taking drugs. We're, we're constantly trying to escape materiality because we think something's wrong with it. And so even the culture of modernity is very Gnostic. It just doesn't call itself that. And so, although Gnosticism tends to manifest in a very ugly form that uh, is opposed to Christianity and to the culture that we've traditionally had, it seems to be that it contains necessary elements that have to be incorporated into our culture. First, it happens with individuals. Individuals learn how to compress information and perceive in better ways. So it's like we develop better heuristics for looking at the world. And then we don't have to look at nearly as many things. We don't need to look at as many moving parts. So if you can perceive unities in multiplicities, you only need to look at the unities. And to do that, you only need to focus on a few details of, of the multiplicity. But if you can't do that, you have to look at the whole thing and monitor all the moving parts as separate elements. And so I think the world is set up in a way where there are these unities that unify 
multiple elements into wholes, but we can only perceive them as parts because of our metaphysics, because we don't have this higher world anymore. And so I think regaining our lost understanding of a world of forms or a heavenly kingdom is going to be a necessary aspect of that. And so we need to get back in touch with um, Christian metaphysics um, or Platonic metaphysics at least. Uh, and until we do that, we're only going to be able to look at the world as a material machine. And every cog is completely separate from every other cog somehow. Uh, and so I, I think it's a metaphysical problem. It's a philosophical problem. As soon as most people accept that things are unified in um, unexpected ways, then it'll get easier. And then it's just a matter of listening to the people who are good at perceiving those unities. A, f a small group of people who are willing and able to understand these things are going to have to bring them down to a level where people can understand them and incorporate them into their lives. Religion is like that, in that the Christian story contains very, very deep metaphysical ideas contained in very, very simple stories. Um, you can think about the parables of Christ as a kind of perfect microcosm of that. Love is unity in multiplicity, um, or it's what allows multiplicity to become unity. And so I think the significance of it is that it, it allows things in reality to come together and to move out of death. So death is when, you know, a body dissolves into all of its constituent parts. And I think love is what brings those things together into something more than themselves. And you definitely see that in the case of families, um, in the case of even couples, you can see it, where, you know, more than one person is able to become, able to become something that is unified and that has a coherent identity that transcends all of the individuals. I think that's the significance of love. Love is what uh, allows the world to exist in some sense.